you know, this may not even really need to be a sympathy for. This could be a douche of the month or, you know, this could be a, you know, what's horseshit. But I'm going to stick to who I actually feel sorry for and keep this as a sympathy for. Because that's the right thing to do, right? Let's do a little backstory here. This episode is going to be about Charlie Bell. And yeah, I really don't even know the guy. Don't really care, but after hearing his story, I feel sorry for the guy in a lot of ways. I mean, it's typical. A lot of these videos I've been doing have been on divorce and bad breakups and things like that and who we should feel sorry for and, you know, whatnot. But this story, while, you know, you have a breadwinner and, you know, the uh, side piece jump off whatever that actually got married to said breadwinner ends up taking home a huge chunk of change. And while I might feel that that's unfair a lot of times, hear me out on this one. We've got Kenya Bell, who, if you watch that Basketball Wives bullshit, you know who she is. She no longer has a basketball husband. Is she still going to be on the show? I don't know. Who cares? I'll leave that up to you ladies to decide when you watch or whatever. Well, without rambling too much, she and Charlie got divorced. Now, if you recall, they had a pretty bitter one where Charlie, who is no longer playing basketball in the NBA, he wanted Kenya to support him. Pretty weird, right? But he claims, hey, he only makes pennies since he doesn't have an NBA contract. Why he doesn't have a contract anymore, I don't know. Same reason why I don't know who the fuck he is. But my point is, she wanted him to give up a huge chunk of his seven-figure savings. So he doesn't make money anymore, but he's got a huge savings account that she's aware of. Keep in mind, she also has this basketball wives gig. So the, the verdict that the judge ended up breaking down was, hey, look, you got two kids by this woman. You got to give $1,000 a month in child support. Sounds reasonable. I mean, you're making, or you, you were making six figures or whatever. You had an NBA deal. It's supposed to go to the kids. Chances are maybe 700 of that will go to the kids and 300 will go to a new purse for her. Hey, don't be mad at me. I'm just speculating here, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave that alone. <laughs> Back to the facts. They ended up splitting their homes. Apparently, Kenya had a home in Michigan that they had along with a home that was bought for her parents. Charlie had a condo in Vegas and a home he bought his parents. That that was how that was divvied up. But she was award awarded, excuse me, seven hundred and eighty thousand of cash from his savings. So he had over a million in there. Now he's left with just six hundred and fifty six hundred thousand in his account. She also gets half of the six hundred and seventy thousand from another account he had. So dude wasn't broke. A little over $2 million in the account. I mean, that's, that's not too bad. He could live off that for a while and find something else to do. But get this. Why this video is so long and why all of this is disgusting? She gets half of everything from his NBA 401k, his NBA retirement, his NBA pension, and... Get this, there's an NBA welfare plan and a supplement benefit plan. NBA is really looking out for guys. <laughs> you could, I feel like, hey, if I had a deal and I'd suited up for maybe a game or two and broke my ankles, I'd be pretty good right now. But the kicker is she gets all of that and Charlie gets, what? Nothing. None of that basketball-wise money. She would have no basketball-wise show if it wasn't for being married to the dude. And somehow he gets none of that money. I'm not going to let that get my blood pressure up. <laughs> but that pisses me off. This isn't a Tiger Woods. I cheated on my wife with a calendar full of women. So I'm entitled to, you know, all this money. This is a 
Kenya was arrested in 2011 for breaking into the dude's house and attacking him with a fucking box cutter, and she gets all of this motherfucking money. That's bullshit. Okay, so I, I, I'm sorry. I let my blood pressure get up. But yeah, I feel sorry for this Charlie guy. Uh, hopefully he can get uh, another job or something, uh, a basketball husband show. Maybe he could spawn that. But uh, yeah, dude, uh, I'm not sure what else to tell you. There's a lot of things I want to say that would make me look like an asshole, so I'm not going to say them. Some of you are like, oh, you're, we already think you're an asshole. But uh, making this video, making you aware of it, fellas, be careful of who you wife up. Because uh, that shit can happen to you very easily. Say, don't trust a big butt and a smile, you know. And that's for AIDS. But it looks like he's got financial AIDS now. So, uh, till next time, uh, see ya.